Full disclaimer, I do not want you girls that participate in this show to get offended by my opinion. It's my opinion and there are people here, my supporters, that care about my opinion. So if you don't like something I say here and you do that thing that you guys do where you guys go on the internet and argue all day, I am not going to participate. I probably will post it here and will laugh about it, but I don't think you should take so much offense that you start bickering with me because I will not indulge and you guys know the cameras are running. I'm not the only person who's going to have an opinion on you. Uh, my opinion might be similar to a hundred people and a hundred more people might not have the same opinion as me. It's okay, but do not come on my page adding me in your stories thinking I'm going to rah, rah, rah with you. I am not going to. I'm going to laugh and smile and wave and sit here and laugh at it. So. That's just the one disclaimer I want to get out there. Please, spare me <laughs> the time of laughing at you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, some of you are going to be really excited because we are going to be discussing Bad versus Wild. I know most of you won't expect me to be doing this, but I feel like because I'm actually a part of this show, that it's a good time for me to hop back in and share my opinion with you guys, since you guys love to hear me talk so much. <laughs> I feel like I put in so much effort into my vlogs and remembering to vlog throughout my day, and then I sit down and talk to the camera and... It's all fine and dandy, so let's get right into it. Bad vs. Wild just premiered, and as you know, there will be episodes. I'm not sure what date my episode comes out. I'm thinking it's going to be the second episode, but the way Zeus drags their footage, it might be second or third or fourth. I, I don't know. But I do know that I landed the day of Jocelyn's episode, and I filmed that next day. And so... I remember all the drama that was going on or just how everybody felt, but let's just get into it and watch it and see what's going on with this crazy. The boss lady is in the building. Betty's Betty shot o'clock is like embedded in my mind. Natalie will freaking scream it anywhere that she goes and it drives me nuts. I already said that in my last vlog. Um, so far, all the baddies look really good. None of them look bad at all. Jay looks beautiful, we know that. Roly looks really good. I'm pretty sure this is after a few of her surgeries. I think she looks good. Um, Scotty's a very pretty girl. She always looks good. I told Natalie when I saw her how great she looks right now. Mariah's always been a very pretty girl. I didn't really notice how pretty Krishan's sister was until, well, I didn't notice who she was at first in general, just like we all just kind of came upon her. But she's really pretty, but Krishan is really pretty, so that makes sense. But she's very pretty in person, too. You already know. I'm from my little chap. We just gonna ruin her. Oh, just <laughs> So I'm kind of just going to skim through this because I'm not going to watch the entire episode. I'm not going to lie to you. So I did the baddies introduction and what I think about them. And now I kind of just want to see um, Jocelyn's girls. You already know. That's what I'm talking about. The boss lady is in the building. All right, Natalie. This is your stage. Who you got with you today? Who happened with you on your squad? actually hilarious because I do not know any of the cabaret girls besides Lucky and Daisy and then that's it but I, I Daisy is the only one I knew prior to her going on the show like I have no idea who these girls are and that's why I'm like I don't think the baddies are gonna get offended by my opinion because I think 
a lot of them have been trained now now that they're used to it even though like at the beginning i noticed some of them would get mad at like people's opinions about how they were but i feel like most of them now are kind of used to it there's nothing you can do about it and honestly people talking is is better than nothing so yeah i don't know who any of the cabaret girls so natalie she kind of ate that one because somebody is going to introduce them Get to the next team. And it ain't me. Now that we met the baddies, the team bad. It's time to get wild. And y'all know I like it wild. Let's beat the wild captain and the team. The Puerto Rican princess. Did the second just tell somebody you on my nigga? Who is our man? Oh my God. So, Jocelyn Hernandez. Everyone is allowed to vape and smoke on stage. Like, where is the decorum? Not even decorum. I just don't even know if that's the right word to use because smoking and drinking and vaping is not like we all do it, right? But I don't want to sit on a stage while I'm being filmed and do it. And I'm pretty sure I hit, I think I hit Jayla's vape and I hid behind a pillow while we were taking a break just to make sure if the cameras are rolling, I don't, cause you know, pieces are cut up and we definitely were on break, but I'm still going to hide and do it. I'm pretty sure I may have done it behind Kat's back, but like, I don't like it. I think we should take all the vapes and all the blunts and just wait, you know, let's keep it cute, but whatever, we're on the, on the wild side. <laughs> Alright, alright. Welcome, she ladies. Now, we go, we go. Puerto Rican Look, princess, Miss Jocelyn. You, you want to be a star? I'll make you a fucking star. Baby, Jocelyn, baby, who you got baby, with you? Lord have mercy. A lot of y'all baddies, baddies, sucking cock is kind of funny. That that's actually a good one. What? <laughs> Where do they come up with this stuff? I have to scroll. I, I lose brain cells watching this stuff. challenges over here and you must either accept the challenge you know do the action or strip I mean, we get paid I get it and what do you do make money bitch so, so, they got all the bank bitch you do that man I will say because Taseki was on my my episode and she seems a little more extra here than I, I got in person. She was a lot calmer on my episode. I don't know if she drunk or just the energy was there because I heard that this episode was when I landed, I mean it was going down. Like they couldn't even like be around each other for seconds. Um Jocelyn uh talking about Natalie on OnlyFans, which I did see as well. That's kind of crazy. But I don't think Jocelyn forgot that. I feel it all in my stomach. It's basically like two, two freaking 
<laughs> what do I say without insulting anybody? Because I do not have an issue with either of them. And I like Natalie. Um, I used to look like birds of a feather flocking separately when they should be flocking together. Ain't nobody forget that studio session. I did it. Oh, but you guys are a younger crowd, so maybe you guys don't know Johnson's studio session. So now I'm sorry if I brought it up. Don't be mad at me. It's crazy, man. It's crazy out here. Are you Either accept the challenge. Oh shit! That was some mean girl shit. I love it. Well, clearly the energy is right. Y'all ready to get real with what happened? I'm gonna give y'all some challenges. Now you either must accept the action or strip using this here stripper pole that we have provided. We don't got pay. I'm gonna fuck the hole. Nick, you ready? Nick, Nick, you, Nick, you ready to start? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. Jocelyn is like, who is this bitch? <laughs> I wonder if like, I'm sure the girls probably want her, but at seeing Jocelyn a few times in person, she seems super checked out from everything. So she might not know who this girl is. But I'm sure the girls kind of, who Seki is, but I'm sure the girls probably kind of want her. And I still don't think she cares because this girl is just a very interesting person. Like, I think she'll try a little bit of everybody until it doesn't go her way. I don't know. Seki definitely wasn't on this vibe when I was there. She seemed kind of quiet, but I don't know if maybe she's always like this or the night before was so hectic that she was probably just over it. This is this is a lot. Yeah, it's a little bit of a lot. But they were like dead at war, so I'm not sure. Girls, to step up to the stage. Y'all pick the three y'all want. Natalie, Jocelyn, what three girls y'all gonna have come up? Three girls from your side. Now remember, it's hella simple. Either you do the challenge or you take something off. So we ready? Y'all ready for the first challenge? I'm ready for the first challenge, Nick. Let's get it. Jocelyn already taking shit off. Now if you got it, we rock it. First challenge is do a full split. Either you do a full split or you gotta take something off. You got it. I'll take some off. Sky is not cool. Look pretty. Who is this one with the curly hair? I feel like this is the one that was like scaring, scaring everybody in that reunion clip, or is she just like, um, look like she was on drugs? I think she still may be on drugs. I think. She is trying drugs that she's never tried before because every time I see a clip of her, she looks insane. I don't know this girl's name. Let's search it because let's see. Jocelyn's Cabaret. Jocelyn Cabaret Cat. All the old ones. Season four. Okay. Jocelyn's Cabaret cast. Girl High at Reunion. So 
something and nobody can find her. She's not on Google, but I feel like she is being introduced to drugs that she is not used to doing or has not done. And is just acting a fool because what is she doing? She done thrown up gang signs. She's now on the ground patting her vagina. And uh, I'm concerned. Gang signs doing a split and being sexual and gang signs at the same time is just doesn't make sense. This poor baby needs some help. It is almost like Jocelyn does not want a gang of like friends or women that she likes. She just wants chihuahuas. And that's all it gives. Like this is insane. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about, the one in the pole right now. That's like, I think it's crazy. Hey! All right, got it? What? 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 Ooh! You jumped on my eyes! Oh, oh, oh! Wait a minute, that pole looking a little hole. Well, shake it! Yeah, and I'm not gonna make you. She was lit! You got another one for y'all. You know that. I'm not going to miss her. You know that. Oh, oh, they got those. She don't miss. You don't miss. All right, ladies. Who don't miss? The little thing jumping up and down. Is that who we talking about? I can't even tell who's talking because so many people are talking. That thing is like crazy and I'm really concerned for her. And I don't know her name. But I am concerned. Like, little mama, you sitting here arguing with Krishan's sister and... Talk about you don't miss. Oh Lord, poor thing. She's taking shit off. She got to take everything off. She's all her jewelry off. Like. Okay, I will say Jocelyn girls definitely had the better pole work. Um, <laughs> but uh, they just they look insane. Uh, no offense, y'all, that's not nice to say, but it does look insane. But that's Jocelyn's fault, okay? Because you look at and Broly, please don't take offense to this. This is not me to be offensive. I do like you, but it's the truth. You look at Broly's progression from when she got on Zeus and so now she's put the money into herself to better herself whether it's her hair or her surgery or whatever it is you can tell that she is benefiting from being on this show her girls you cannot tell that i don't think it's their fault i think their leader probably just don't got the right intentions like this is not good so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get that i'm gonna say baddies won that round as well and skip past this because they're gonna scream in our ears for the next hour Oh, she's asking the question, so you got to put your hand on the stack. <laughs> All right, you think, you, wait, hold on. Natalie Nunn said I'd be lying, so here's the question. Wait, hold on, let me ask the question. Okay, so you do you own your own show, The Baddies? Yes, I do. Okay, so why do you do OnlyFans for a dollar fifty cent and you commit murder on your plate like that? We see you. Me and my girl sit right here. All right, I got that's everything. That's a lie. I got that's everything. A lie. I got everything. That's, that's a lie. I got everything. That's a lie. I got everything. That's a lie. All right, okay. That's a lie. All right, and then this one. Hold on. And then this one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. 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 I will say it does seem like the the Natalie actually came to just have a good time and Jocelyn is just kind of turned up. But I think we know why Jocelyn's so turned up. I don't think she ever expected baddies to pass her. 
and um, I would say it did. I don't know if y'all kind of agree, but it definitely has way past the cabaret, but mostly because of Jocelyn's own fault. You talk to them like dogs and treat them like dogs. And once again, your girls have no like progression look-wise. If they don't come on there, put together, they leave worse off than what they came sometimes. And yeah, I could I could see how your show can't progress. You can't even sneeze. It's strict around that <laughs> around that place. Like you cough wrong and she down your throat. So it does look like Natalie just came to have an innocent fun game and Jocelyn's ego is a bit hurt. That woman has a big ego. Oh, we got to finish the question. Okay. Okay. We got to finish the question. Okay. We're sending the videos. The whole United States, the whole world uh, sitting. You okay. Okay. Now she said who built the Zeus network and that makes sense you could tell she's visibly upset that these girls passed her but it's her fault I mean she did it to herself she I think that she is getting payback on the men and how they treated her in her life and taking that out on these girls because she talks to them like hoes and prostitutes and we know because she's told us her story before that she was that and so yeah, that's her own fault. You can't. And to be fair, <clears throat> the girls don't let Natalie talk to them like that at all. They sh she can't really get away with it. But she doesn't really do it in a very obvious way like Jocelyn does it. She'll sneak around it and do it before she does it, like, completely in your face. So, yeah, Jocelyn's going to have to take that L on her own. We have to celebrate Okay. But you always love to flex. And you love to act like you build this. But yet, but yet, you're playing with your pussy. 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 you are playing with your pussy 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 you are
Let's not normalize this, kids, and people growing up watching this, because Oxygen had very strict rules on certain things, and I think you do need to have a lot of stuff censored on these TV networks, because kids are watching them. There's 16s and 17-year-olds and 15 and 13-year-olds watching these. Please don't do drugs. I hope Dare is still coming to schools like they did back in the day. Back is crazy. All right, Natalie. Ooh, you got your question? Jasmine, put your hand on the set. I ain't promoting this on my channel. <laughs> that lady's crazy. She might as well have swung on that lady because you left your face too wide open. Oh my God. But to be fair, Daphne was letting Jocelyn act super crazy and didn't swing on her. But Natalie, you know who Jocelyn is and she said it herself. Can she go back in the back and do a line? I would have never got that close to that lady face without being ready to go. Look at Jayla. Jayla is so funny because her and Natalie friendship is, uh, they're so loyal to each other. Like, super, super loyal to each other. And sometimes I don't get it because y'all know I like Natalie, but I do not know how people tolerate her friendship. But I think they just have, like, Jayla just don't play that. So she could probably be friends with just about anybody. Okay, so now I see why they were so upset because Natalie's biggest thing was after this happened is that she didn't get a chance to get her look back and it's like, why y'all didn't let her fight Jocelyn? Why would y'all grab her immediately after that lady put her hands on her? But I don't know. I just saw Mariah, her blonde wig folded over. Jayla swinging as usual. Scotty even over here doing some fighting. I don't know who the sec he got by the hair because I don't know these girls' names. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> Yeah, that's not fair. They actually are doing Natalie really dirty. And this was a big thing when I landed. Like, everybody was very upset, and now I see it. Y'all just let another girl run up on her and grab her by the hair. That is insane. I think that's pretty much it. It's so chaotic that there's not even anything to break down in this. Nick's famous cannons. Well, Nick famous. Nick Cannon's face the whole time when the fight started was just like, what the hell? Roly was getting her hair pulled by somebody. Like, there was slight favoritism in the cabaret girls and um, the baddies is very obvious. Or I, I just don't know why. Why it would be? Maybe because Jocelyn's really hard to work with. Natalie's a lot easier to work with. So they probably push Natalie's buttons a little more and disregard her a little bit more because Jocelyn will act a fool. 
this is really messed up to watch. I'm honestly glad <laughs> that I, I was gonna go up there when I landed. I was like, well, no, why don't you just eat some dinner and have some drinks? I'm glad that I did not go and watch and sit in the audience because you just don't know with these crazy girls. That was insane, yeah. I don't know any of Jocelyn girls, but I do, my honest opinion is I feel like none of them probably know what's happened in her real life, probably have never been around in her real life or have a real friendship with her. They just look like guard dogs. The baddies came and they looked cute and they progressed. And I think the overall biggest reason for all the altercations is that Jocelyn is upset that her show got surpassed by baddies. But I really just don't get why security was doing all. I seen Jayla in security's hands, Natalie in security. Natalie got, she done got mushed in the face. She got her wig ripped off by another girl. Like this is crazy. And that little one just somewhere running around. I hope somebody got hurt. I don't know her, but I'm like her very much. <laughs> because she is like the worst kind of attack dog where she thinks some of them might just genuinely want their camera time and so they participate in the nonsense. But she is no, she just looks like a little puppet running around. Like whatever Jocelyn says goes, this was crazy. But I'm excited for my episode. Of course, we all know now that a fight occurred on my episode, but it was like a, a really healthy fight. Like, okay, we got some beef. Let's get it out the way so we can all enjoy our time. And we did after there was, it was just like peace and harmony for the most part afterwards. I'm not gonna give you every detail, but I'm glad I wasn't a part of this. And I think when I landed and heard that all of this had went down is when I kind of got nervous because I'm like, all right, well, you guys said it would be fun and lighthearted. And then I get here and I'm hearing that it's a full blown shit show. And so I was relieved the next day because I went in nervous and I was relieved the next day when I realized this is not what it was. Um, yeah, Jocelyn and her girls are crazy. Uh, like I said, I know Lucky and Daisy, but I feel like we know them to be the level-headed ones and I really like them. The rest of them, I don't have too much to say about. Uh, I don't know their names and I don't like anybody who somebody can just tell you what to do. I don't have a master or a puppeteer and I don't want to be one. And so, I can't see Jocelyn's cabaret last that much longer. It's just like nothing happening. But that's my opinion, so don't get mad at me. Um, I'm gonna continue to review all the episodes. I think that one was just really hard to review because it was just pure chaos the entire time. And I, I'm hoping like, I'm hoping our episode is like pieced together properly where we can actually review the games and I could say like the first game, I think this person won this game or this is my opinion. Um, yeah, until next time.